Welcome to 10 tips and tricks for the KDE Plasma's editor, text editor of choice, Kate. And let's start with tip number one. By default, Kate ships with no toolbar activated, but I think it is sometimes handy to have a toolbar to quickly open and close and create new files and save new files and save as new files. So the only thing you have to do is go to settings and then show toolbar and then you have the options here. And of course you have the options to, as in KDE, usually to configure uh, the app and add new stuff into the toolbar. Tip number two is search and replace multiple files. The search and uh, replace plugin in uh, Kate uh, usually resides uh, down in the bottom and allows you to do mm, very interesting searches just like this one for example. I can search not only inside of a file but I can search inside of a whole project, inside of a folder and see different occurrences of for example video player here and if I see okay this line here in this file is uh, very interesting and just double click it it will open up this file and directly go to this line and can see where I am and I can adjust code stuff. Tip number three, integrate terminal. So if you want to have an integrated terminal just like integrated search and replace you have the option to go to settings configure Kate settings configure Kate then go to plugins and there you can activate the terminal and tool view plugin. There are a bunch of other plugins which are very interesting here but I just want to focus on the terminal tool view because some of you might code in Python for example and it will be very handy. You can click apply here and you will have a terminal down here and if you click on this it will open up the terminal, it will go into the directory of the file that you have opened and uh, this is pretty handy. You can just simply then uh, execute a code here just like Python code for example uh, just by typing in Python and then the name. Tip number four is moving lines. Um, let's close the terminal and let's go to this one. You can see there's something wrong with the line alignments. So line one, two, three, four and then it goes with seven. So what I want to do is just simply move the line seven down and move the line five up. I have an option to go under tools and there's a script for this under editing which allows you to uh, move lines down or up and as you, as you can see I don't want to go to the menu all the time so you can use the hotkeys here control shift up and control shift down. So let's uh, bring the line five up by control shift up and let's sort it out as you can see here pretty easy pretty handy tip number five word completion especially useful also for programmers that want to complete a word or in this case is some kind of specific function for example uh, uh, or in this case just simply line I just type li and then hit control and space and it will give me a list of word um, word completion and uh, in this case it's only one word and I hit enter and I have completed this word. Tip number six, bookmarks. Especially useful if I have lots and lots of code, long code in one file and I want to bookmark it because I'm working on restructuring the file. I can just simply say bookmark, set bookmark and it will appear in my bookmarks list here and I can jump between long lines of code instead of scrolling between the different lines. I can just simply jump uh, to the next bookmark for example with alt page down or I can just simply directly go to my bookmark and we jump in there. Uh, pretty handy especially if you're working with code or longer text files. Then there's another option if you know the code line you want to go to you have the option to simply go to this code line by pressing ctrl G and this will allow you to go to line as you can see here and I can just say I want to go to line 200 and it will jump to my line 200 in this case and I can change the text I want to uh, save uh, and yeah that's it. Tip number eight save with specific encoding sometimes you get some text files or code files that are encoded in with a Windows encoding or something like this and you want to change the encoding you can do so just like go to here to save and there you have the option save as with encoding and then you can set your encoding that you want to do especially useful if you have some special files special encodings special characters in your files you can then set the special encoding here tip number nine change color themes so let's go to settings here you can have different color themes pretty handy for the user interface but 
Besides that, if you want to, for example, have a breeze dark color theme, now I have a breeze dark user interface, but the text is still white. If you want to change the color theme of the text as well, you can go to settings, configure Kate, and there you can uh, go to appearance and you can change certain things here as well. But fonts and colors, I think, is more interesting because you have some color schemes here. And there you have the option, for example, to also change to a breeze dark theme uh, to match. And you can set the default theme to breeze dark as well. Hit apply. And then you have a nice dark theme, which is more pleasing to the eyes. Tip number 10 is a bracket highlighting. So if I have a bracket in here marked, you can see, uh, okay, it is here and here marked by color. But I if I want to highlight this uh, bracket even more, I can go to configure Kate uh, appearances and say animate bracket matching. And then if I click on something like this here, it will animate the matching as well, which is easier to find it sometimes depending on the color that you have set. So these are my 10 tips and tricks for the KDE's default text editor of the choice, Kate. And uh, if you have some uh, further tips and tricks for Kate, Kate is such a powerful application. There are lots and lots of tips and tricks. You can post them in the comments uh, and otherwise like, subscribe,